What's up everyone, Pure Cow Sex here with kind of a part 4, which is actually just kind of a, a quick update to uh, the grasshopper restoration. Um, mostly because I've, I've built the majority of it um, after getting those new parts in part 3, and I'm kind of done with prepping the body and getting it ready uh, for a new coat of primer and paint. Um, funds pending or funds permitting it might be a, a little while until I can get a hold of all the other parts I need uh, which is why PayPal might be uh, a very useful investment for yourself um, or the super chats however the hell they work um, but PayPal PayPal donations to help get this thing up and running uh, will be majorly appreciated but not mandatory um, so just a bit of box a bit. As I mentioned in part three, I was trying to remove the paint from here using brake fluid. It didn't work. Um, I basically just ended up sanding what I could, but it just did not work. It would not come off. I don't know what paint this is, but yeah, it was... it just wouldn't come off. So, yeah. Uh, here's the bag of bits that I haven't used yet. Uh, oh. However, actually, you know what? Shall I put the um, wheelie bar on the hopper? That'd be kind of interesting. So there are some of the bits that I am going to need. But here is the improved serve, uh, steering using the pumpkins, uh, turnbuckle arms, and turnbuckles, and servo savers, and the, the tow rod ends, or whatever they're called. Obviously, I need to get a servo before I can actually hook this up properly. But these are more or less where they need to be, kind of. Um, so I'm hoping that, yeah, this will give slightly better steering uh, than the usual ones. So, yeah, it'll be interesting once these go on. I might have to put the balls or the ball joints on this side. Because when they're on the car, they do kind of go like that. So I might need to put the ball ends here, see if that will work, so that they're a bit more straight. But that's the improved steering link, or improved steering links, hopefully. So we'll put that to one side, and there. Here is the chassis. Yeah, I guess you get that out of the way. Here's the chassis. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah, black on black, and it's not very bright in here. Um, but it's a far cry from what it used to be. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Yeah, should move the camera about. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it, it's... There's the new um, pumpkin arms, which hopefully, like I say, will fit the acro shot wheels and tyres. And using the kingpins, or the, the screw pins, rather than the the rods like it usually does. I haven't done anything to the front shocks other than just put an O-ring under it so that when it comes down, it's a lot less clunk. Um, I did a little improvement to the rear shocks using the leftover rod ends and the brass ball ends. Uh, I, I basically used a 4M nut or wheel nut as a, as a shock holder. And then just use those, and it, it kind of just adds a bit more flex. Not that it really needs it. Um, this kind of thing may only really be needed if I was to replace these with the horn, um, the Hornet ones that allow this to tilt, which I will do. But I think for now, it's, 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 just, it's pointless. <laughs> but it does work. So, yeah. And the new bumper and the new battery cover. Uh, also, as you can see, I also got a, a complete set of bearings from these chaps on eBay, um, who sent it out first class. I only bought these yesterday, and they've already arrived today. So, race pace bearings, I shall be giving you positive feedback. So that's the shell, um, not the shell, the chassis. And here's the shell, which you can't really see, yes. Look at that. 
That, that is an even bigger far cry from what it used to look like. <laughs> uh, my phone keeps going off. So, yeah, yeah, the, the, brake remove, the brake fluid removal process actually kind of worked on the red for this. Um, and that's my driver figure, so... Um, there's still a few bits in the nooks and crannies that I can't quite get to. And I was a bit nervous because I'm sure I read a few places that brake fluid actually dissolves super glue. So I was trying to take my time over here, but it, it's still it's still solid. So I don't want to push my luck though. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's a lot better. So I thought I'd put my own driver figure in there. He's got a little bit more arm than the other one. So, kind of like my plan is to basically get some black styrene sheet. And if there's enough space between the here and the like speed controller, um, I'm gonna get some black styrene sheet, just to sort of stick it to the driver figure so that it covers this. So it covers up all the cables and wiring. And I was even gonna try and put like some black styrene sheet here, like a back cover. Probably not going to happen. Um, and maybe go onto eBay and look for like a cheap plastic engine that I can just stick on the back. And so you can see it through the... But it had to be quite thin. So I'm not sure about that. Uh, or even put the speed controller on the back. And therefore, because therefore it'll look like an engine. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, actually, I don't even know. Yeah, actually, no, I'm going to get the... Uh, the Hobbywing 1060, you know, the one that has all those issues. But because this is not going to have a fast motor, I'm hoping that the issues won't be, won't, you know, won't have any of those issues where it cuts out. Since I'm only going to go for like a 20 or 21 turn motor for this, nothing too crazy to start with anyway. The Hobbywing 1060 hopefully won't have those cutting off issues uh, with a slow motor. So I'll go for that. Um, and of course I still need the servo battery. I do need a new receiver for my new Apsima transmitter. Um, yeah, battery, servo, receiver, speed controller, motor, and obviously all the paints. Uh, the paints I'm going to get from Halfords. Um, I'm not going to go for Tamiya paints. So I'm going to get some Halfords sandpaper, some knifing putty, so I can fill in any of the small um, scratches and whatnot. Um, and try and fill in over this if it needs it. Uh, and some Tammy, uh... Mm, Halfords. Halfords primer, and I haven't decided on a colour yet. I'm thinking red or purple, since those are my favourite colours. Um, but I'm also... I don't know how easy this is going to be to mask this off and paint these black. Like I said, I... I do not know how easy that's going to be. It might be so difficult, I'll just end up leaving these bits the same colour as the body. I'm not sure. But we'll see. I also want to get some LED light pods that you find on the comical cars. You can put LEDs in. So I might try and get those as well. But yeah, other than that, it's coming along. This took me goddamn freaking hours to get rid of all this crap. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I'm not looking forward to painting the driver figure. I've never done one of those before, so see how that goes. And uh, yeah, some nice, some new bearings, <laughs> a rear shock upgrade, front shocks that, even though they're just springs with a piece of the screw, they do feel kind of, um, they feel nice. Even though they're not even real shocks. And so there's so there's rear. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna fit an engine in there. Even even like a fake plastic one. Hmm. Well, like I said, I might even see what the um speed controller looks like. And it'd be kind of out in the open, so the heat sink can get some air. So yeah. A la di da. Ugh. But yeah, I don't know when all this is going to happen though, because, uh, like I said, funds pending. Or funds permitting, I should say. Uh, I'll see what I can do in the meantime. So, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I, I just want to do a quick update 
to the progress of the I'd call it Hornet, the Grasshopper. Um, so yeah, when I get another update or some parts, I shall of course update you again. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with how the body went. I, I just I won't know the full extent of like surface scratches until I primer it. So there we go. Anyway, I shall leave it there for now. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you all in part five, whatever that may be. So until then, take care. And thank you for watching. Bye.